Now, a leak from Labor's campaign team that's already up and running was uh, today highlighted how the party's enforcing central control when it comes to public debates and media appearances. The document warns staff of all politicians and candidates that there are no interviews to happen at all without approval from Campaign HQ. It stresses there's no regular appearances and nothing to be agreed to unless you get approval from headquarters. In other words, stay stum unless we let you talk. That's kind of what we expect a very, uh, in a very small target strategy from the ALP and Anthony Albanese. Their task is to get to polling day saying and doing as little as possible, just keeping away from controversy if they can and trying to sick the media onto Scott Morrison every day so they can stay ahead in the polls and sail to victory. It's never quite that easy. So we shall see. As I mentioned last night, though, we've been asking senior figures for interviews on the Labor side. One of those is Shadow Treasurer Jim Chalmers. He hasn't turned up yet. His role's very crucial, especially given Anthony Albanese has had trouble ruling out tax increases. Will you increase taxes in government to pay back debt? Uh, we've said that the tax that we're looking at is multinational tax evasion. You won't be increasing taxes to pay back debt? Uh, look, what we'll do is two, two things, Carl. One is we'll stop the waste and the rorts, but the other thing is we have a plan for growth. But you won't increase taxes? We have all of our policies out there for all to see. I don't know that you're answering the question. It's pretty... Yes, uh, I am. Is it a yes or a no? I am, absolutely. Will you be, will you be increasing I... taxes? We will be announcing our measure on multinational tax evasion. Yeah, some simple questions are harder, answer, aren't they? Uh, now, just this week, Jim Chalmers himself said he'll get rid of the coalition's cap on the tax take. Uh, we're not attracted to the government's tax cap. Uh, and the reason we're not attracted to it is because it seems to us like quite an arbitrary cap imposed for political reasons rather than good economic reasons. Surely the only reason you get rid of a tax cap is to raise more tax. So here are my two key questions for Jim Chalmers. Uh, if he turns up, it's easy. I've got the two questions up here for him. Why does he want to scrap that cap on the national tax take? And also on spending, I want to ask Chalmers when he worked for Wayne Swan during the GFC how much spending was wasted. Surely you'd have to admit to some. Pink bats, cash for clunkers. Let me bring in Liberal Senator for Victoria, Sarah Henderson. Thanks for joining us, Sarah. Interesting to see Labor send out the message no one's talking to anybody anymore unless they get approval from Campaign HQ. This is always done by both parties to a degree, but it looks like Labor are going to be much more disciplined and silent than ever before. Well, Chris, good evening. And uh, I would disagree with you. We don't play it that way on our side of politics at all. I didn't ask anyone's permission to come on your show. Uh, and I, it just goes to show that Labor is trying to sneak into government. They are not just playing a low target strategy. They are playing a no target strategy. They are basically shutting down free speech shutting down accountability and dodging on everything, dodging, uh, ducking and weaving on tax, ducking and weaving on defence, on aged care, even on their commitment to a regional Australia. So uh, this is uh, really appalling and, frankly, Australians should be very concerned. If they don't have the courage, if they don't have the guts to say what they stand for, then they don't deserve to be elected. Well, it's kind of why you get into politics, is to advocate and talk. And when they shut everyone up, it is a big worry. In your home state, Daniel Andrews, extending emergency powers till July the 12th at least. Is that going too far? Absolutely, Chris. I think this is uh, appalling. It's a complete abuse of power. It is unnecessary. As Matthew Guy said so well, uh, the state government should be looking at some of its failures in hospitals, in ambulances, in the way it's managing the economy, in its absolute failure to invest in infrastructure in regional Victoria. So this is megalomania gone mad. Uh, Daniel Andrews um, has recklessly abused his power once again. And frankly, it is a disgrace. Enough's enough. Let me show you a little clip uh, of a question and answer from one of your Senate colleagues in estimates yesterday. Here's Senator Alex Antic. Can someone please provide me with a definition of what a woman is? <coughs> Department of Health. Definition of a man. Definition of a woman. Anyone? It's pretty basic. 
basic stuff. Professor Murphy. <laughs> there, look, I think there are, there are a variety of definitions, and I, I think a simple perhaps, one. perhaps to give a, a more fulsome answer, we should take that on notice. You're going to take on notice yeah. the question of what a woman is. No, well, there, there are a variety. There, it, it's a very, it's a very, uh, it's a very contested space. It's just hilarious, Senator. Could you give us the definition of a woman? Chris, can I firstly say that I just want to stick up for Ben and Murphy. He was the chief medical officer. He led us through the pandemic. He has been a magnificent leader for our country and also a secretary of the Department of Health. He did get a bit caught, but I looked at the Oxford Dictionary and it says an adult female woman. Uh, I don't really think I need to go into any more detail <laughs> other than that, Chris. I think it's quite obvious. I think it is pretty obvious indeed. Thanks so much for joining us again, Senator. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, great to talk to you, Chris. Senator Sarah Henderson there, Liberal Senator for the great state of Victoria. I think you and I know what a woman is and what a man is, and I think uh, we shouldn't be afraid about saying what that is, and I think the bureaucrats are busily beavering away in Canberra now to see if they can come up with a, a politically correct definition. The world has gone mad, and it's been exposed by Alex Antic on this occasion.